you come from Mali, and right now in Mali there's, there's been a coup, and there's been violence, mm -hmm. people have died, mm -hmm. and there's been a great impact to your economy. Doesn't that contradict what you are saying yourself about Africa? Maybe we shouldn't be so positive. We're still in a continent that still has coups, like in um, your home country. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why, because me, the, the, these people get in democracy and they don't, don't, didn't know. The people didn't know what about democracy. What is that democracy? Democracy doesn't mean to, uh, to rob people or the corruption. No. No. It's not democracy. The corruption is not democracy. And these people, those people in Mali, uh, they were really too much corruption. And they forget the country. I think this, 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 uh, this one was necessary. It sounds like you support the coup. Do you support the coup? The fact that there was a coup in Mali? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, because those people, the power, they were really corrupt. Corruption. Too much. Too much. And I don't like military people and the power. No. I don't support that. I want a, 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 a civic people and the power. But this coup was just to question the power of democracy. So do, do you think now that the, the people who are now in charge, this interim government, are the best people to restore democracy mm -hmm. and uh, freedom to the people of Mali? I want to trust them. I <laughs> really believe them. But military, no, no, no power for the military. That is not democracy. Yeah. This is, that is dictatorship. Yes. Yes. Because military cannot live and the power without dictatorship. This is not our destination. The, what we want, we want a good democracy, a democracy without corruption. You know, the last time one president from France said, Africa is younger to get democracy. And we were really disappointed about him. But now I realize it's true. You cannot get in democracy without education. You have to know about democracy. What is a democracy? You have to know. If you do don't know, <coughs> it's early for you to get in democracy. And that is African people situation. And as you point out, this is not a new phenomenon. In the uh, 1970s, in fact, the late 60s, you left Mali yes. and you decided to go to Cote d'Ivoire mm -hmm. and uh, you formed uh, Le Ambassadeur mm -hmm. International. Mm -hmm. And th th this was a, a very vibrant band. Tell us about your experience in Cote d'Ivoire. I left my country because of way it was a dictatorship. And I don't want to live with dictatorship. And uh, when I went to Africa, we spent one year uh, without having an instrument to play, we were really suffered in, for one year. Uh, but after, we made one record, Manju, and it was big successful. So we started to be, you know, uh, to have a you know, big audience. And it was really magic time for us to come in Africa, yes, because we built many kind of music, uh, big musician, yes, it was really a place to meet a good musician, good musician and good stuff, political stuff, because the politics was open, really open, and it was like home for us. Yeah, but as someone who has spent uh, almost two decades now uh, living outside of Africa, mainly based in Paris. Mm -hmm. Do you think that there has been a lot of positive progress here in Africa? Uh, I think, I think it's, it was uh, something necessary for me because 
if if I didn't go outside the country, I didn't and and, and it's not, it was not possible for me to meet people. Some kind of some Carlos Santana, Jose Avenue, and uh, Wayne Shorter, and uh, big 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 musician from jazz. Yeah. I met them there. And um, it, and and I didn't know about I didn't know about uh, show business too much. You know, I was dark like African, just making music for daily life to have money today and eat tomorrow. But the big business that I met in France, and I, my big my uh, my contract, my first contract, important contract, and I had it in in Paris. Oh, yeah. I never been. I've never won Grammy Award, uh -huh. but I was nominated five times. Five times. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. But but it's it's good uh, 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 now. Before it was really good Grammy, but now the Grammy is uh, <laughs> it's like a business. It's like business. Do you think that you, 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 you're going to achieve that as a world musician, um, that recognition globally, internationally? It's good to have it. Yeah. It's, it's, too, it's very good to have it. Mm -hmm. But if you go, you fight for to have Grammy, you must forget some, some thing inside <laughs> you. Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 what is that thing that you must forget? Why you make music? You can make uh, music to have Grammy with records that you don't like. Yes. You understand? Uh -huh. And you know, Salif, one of the things that I love about your music is the fact that you celebrate Africa. Could I possibly ask you to at least sing us that fantastic song about Africa? Africa, oh yeah. Africa, oh my God, Africa, 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 eh? Parihula, parajanya, visa ta sorola, makewa la ye, nyewa la malile la, la Guinée, le Gabon, Sénégal, le Bénin, Yaoundé, oh quel beau pays! Africa, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Africa, 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 eh. Ameriki ula para janya visa te sorola. Mbake wala ye, ye wala mendela lefe. Johannesburg, Zimbabwe, Botswana, Lugana, Ethiopia, oh kelo bo pei. Africa, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Africa, 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 yeah. Mm. Africa. Africa, yes. Africa, we have everything. Yes. We've we got have it. gold, we have diamond, we have petrol, and we have something to eat. Yes. What do you want? Nothing more. <laughs> yes. And more important, we have Salif Keta. Uh. <laughs> Thank you very much, Salif. You're welcome. Such You're a pleasure welcome. to have you on You're Africa 360. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Well, that brings us to the end of yet another edition of your program, uh, Africa 360. would like to thank Salif Keita for joining us on uh, uh, this week's uh, edition of your show. If you'd like to leave a comment or join the debate, you can find us on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter or drop us an email on Africa360 at newschannel.co.za. And remember, you're more than welcome to give us suggestions on topics you'd like us to cover in upcoming editions of your program, Africa360. After all, you are the voice of Africa. So until next time, when we look forward to bringing you Africa like you've never seen it before, take care.